Alléluia, Alléluia, glory be to God, glory be to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Alléluia, we say welcome to the Father. Alléluia, welcome, welcome to our Daddy, our God, our Father. Alléluia, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our God. Alléluia, dawn, we come again before the throne of grace. Alléluia, for we serve a mighty God. We can declare already. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. We say good morning to you as we enter your house. We say shalom. We say God bless you. We want to look at the verse from John 16 verse 33 that says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Brothers and sisters, in order to have peace, we must know God. We must accept God as a, as our Lord and Savior. For he says, God is spirit. The Bible says God is spirit. Those who worship him must worship him in spirit. Hallelujah. For we live by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. The righteous shall live by faith. You have to become a righteous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we become righteous? Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Only God can make us righteous because our righteousness, the Bible says, is like a filthy rag. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. Jesus answered in Matthew 11, it says, Have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and throw into the sea. If we believe, you can do it. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. You know, the disciples, you know, themselves, they have faith in God, but maybe they didn't have it completely the way they should have it. You remember when they were in the boat, they were they, lo- they lost faith for a minute. They were shaken, you know. They were shaken for a minute. And what is it for in it? The righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith, as it is written, The righteous shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Righteousness is like a filthy rag. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot uh, boast. It is by grace we have been saved. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name, Lord. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old receive their commendation. By faith we, we, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. We serve a God who is spirit, whoever worship him was worship him in spirit. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain, through which he was commended as righteous. The same thing, we can do that as well, because he's the same God who has not changed. Hallelujah, the same God. Hallelujah, glory be to your name, Lord. We exalt your name today, Lord. Hallelujah. In the same way, the same way God says, be encouraged. Do not fear. Do not be dismayed. You know, God is telling you to have faith. Remember, beloved, it's not how you started, but it's how you finish. You know, you got to finish strong. In order to put faith in God, you have to know God. How do you know God? You have to accept God as your Lord and Savior. And when you accept God, you are living in hope for a better future because that's what God promised us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Lord. And, you know, the Lord encourages us to have faith. You know, in Matthew 7, he says, Because of your little faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, 
you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. You know, the same power God gave Jesus, he gave it to us. But in other, I'm not talking to people who just listen to prayer, but do not have a relationship with Christ. In order to have that faith, you have to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. When you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will live as someone who has hope. You have to you become a Christian. You have to have faith. It's not, uh, you know, when life brings you the ups and downs, the trouble that comes, you know, Jesus said in this life, you will have trouble. You know, he also shared a message of peace. We don't have to be shaken by the trials we face because we know we have faith. The Lord will see us through. The Lord will carry it for us. Christ has overcome the world. Nothing is greater than his power. So we too can face whatever comes our way with the mighty strength of God is made available to us hallelujah hallelujah what challenges do we need help to overcome today hallelujah how can we encourage and know that uh, that we can live by faith and not by sight hallelujah without faith brothers and sisters it is impossible to please god and the god that we serve is an is an invisible god we know that he exists and he caused everything to come into existence by his word and he has given us that power hallelujah hallelujah activate your faith in order to have that faith you have to act to activate your faith your faith cannot be dormant hallelujah your faith cannot be sleeping your you have to activate the faith it's not how you start it again it's how you finish jesus said when i come back in this world would i find faith would i find faith Activate your faith, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Lord Father God. We say thank you, Father, even in the ups and downs of life. Hallelujah. When we accept you, we know we have hope and we can activate our faith and move by faith and know that we live by faith. The righteous shall live by faith. We become the righteousness of Christ, not on our own, because our righteousness is like a filthy rag. Jesus, thank you for the reminder that we can overcome uh, the world and everything that's in it because we have faith in you, not because of our own strength, but because of what you have done for us. Help us to rely on your power to handle the ups and downs. Hallelujah, the ups and downs of life. Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. Yes, the righteous shall live by faith. Help us to activate our faith, Father. Help us to know that nothing is impossible for those who have faith. And again, Father, it's, it is not how we started, but it's how we finish. Help us to finish strong and to believe in the faith. Father, I praise you and I give you all the glory you alone deserve. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Beloved, shalom. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May you activate your faith. May you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you didn't accept Christ, the prayer is not for you, but you can accept Christ to this prayer. Hallelujah. Or maybe go to a church, go to someone who can pray with you so you can say, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you start developing that relationship and you will know that you have hope. Hallelujah. And God is ready to apply grace to you like he has done before. He did it for many people every day. When we deserve punishment, that's what he said, because our righteousness is like filthy rag. He said, no, not one is perfect, but help try. Let's try to live by faith and not by sight. When you receive Christ, no matter what you see, the trials of life, you can count on God. God bless you, beloved. Remember to, to subscribe to our channel so you can receive the prayers. Hallelujah. May the Lord encourage you. Be encouraged, as he said, be encouraged. But you have to have faith. You have to receive Christ so you can continue to live by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen, amen, and amen.
Hallelujah. Have a blessed day, beloved. Hallelujah. Remember, Jesus loves you more than anybody can love you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Shalom. Shalom.